How do you typically use generative AI tools like ChatGPT in your studies or work? Recently, fascinating research was conducted at the MIT Media Lab. This study scientifically investigated how AI tools might influence our brains and learning processes. Today, we'll explore these significant research findings and consider how we might best engage with AI. We're delving into a key cognitive science study performed by a research team at MIT. They scientifically analyzed how AI tools might bring about changes in our thought processes by measuring participants' brain activity using electroencephalography, or EEG. 54 university students participated in this study for four months. They were divided into three distinct groups. The ChatGPT group, allowed to use only ChatGPT. The search engine group, restricted to Google searches only. The brain-only group, who relied solely on their own knowledge, without any tools. During the experiment, 32 electrodes were placed on each participant's scalp to record real-time brain activity while they wrote essays. Additionally, the completed essays were analyzed using advanced natural language processing to examine vocabulary and writing patterns in detail. The results from the experiment offer important insights for us. First, let's look at the findings related to memory. In the group that wrote essays using only their own knowledge, 89% of participants were able to accurately quote their own writing at a later time. However, for the group that used ChatGPT, 0% of participants could achieve perfectly accurate quotations of their own essays. This suggests that using AI tools might be associated with changes in our memory formation processes. Equally intriguing were the observations regarding brain activity changes. EEG analysis indicated that the ChatGPT using group showed differences in brain connectivity between various regions compared to the other groups. Specifically, patterns of alpha and theta wave activity, which are linked to creative and critical thinking, appeared different from the other groups. What might this imply? It suggests that our brains may adapt how they function based on the tools we use. Much like how using a smartphone might alter how we retain information. AI tools could also be influencing our thought patterns. Interesting discoveries were also made concerning the psychological aspects. Many in the chat GPT group expressed complex feelings about the sense of ownership over the essays they produced. Comments like, I think 50% is mine, and 50% is AI's work, or, I'm not even sure if I truly wrote this, were frequently heard. In contrast, 94% of the group that didn't use tools reported their work as completely their own. This indicates that AI tools might also affect our identity and sense of accomplishment regarding creative output. Furthermore, the study included an investigation into participants who were accustomed to AI tools but were then asked to write without them. Reports indicate that these participants showed differences in specific brain activity patterns when compared to those who had never used ChatGPT from the start. Notably, activity in brain regions associated with higher-order cognitive functions appeared to be more limited in these cases. Researchers have termed this phenomenon cognitive debt, contemplating that over-reliance on AI tools might influence our cognitive abilities over time. Linguistic analysis also revealed notable results. AI-generated texts tend to show similarities in writing style and vocabulary, which raises concerns about potentially limiting creativity. Essays from the chat GPT group were reported to exhibit similar patterns. Conversely, the essays from the group that did not use tools demonstrated greater individuality and diversity. While AI tools offer efficiency, they might also influence our creativity and unique expressive voice. However, the findings are not entirely concerning. The research also revealed encouraging findings. Interestingly, a group that first gained experience writing without generative AI, and then subsequently used it, showed positive changes in certain aspects of brain activity. This suggests that once foundational thinking skills are well developed, integrating AI can potentially lead to more creative and effective outcomes. The key, it seems, lies in the timing and method of using generative AI. What can we learn from this research? AI tools are powerful and convenient instruments in the modern world. However, how we use them can significantly influence our cognitive abilities and creativity. For students in their learning phase, or anyone looking to develop new skills, these findings could serve as an important guide. Researchers propose that it's crucial to find a smart way to engage with AI tools. While benefiting from their efficiency, it remains vital to continue nurturing our most precious ability the power to think and create for ourselves. This study represents a crucial first step in understanding the complex interaction between AI and our cognitive abilities. 
As research continues, we'll better understand how to use AI tools effectively. How do you think about your relationship with AI after hearing these findings? Please share your experiences and thoughts in the comments below. We hope this video helps you reflect on your approach to AI tools. This channel will continue to bring you the latest research on technology and its impact on our lives. Please subscribe and like this video to support our future content. Thank you for watching.